Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Uh, box, sorry. So I used the same card. It's quite an easy box. You only need one piece of card. Um, I'm going to switch up the colour. I'm going to do it in Cherry Cobbler. And the pattern paper on top is going to be this glittery star paper I've got. So for the box you're going to need a piece of card at eight inches by seven and a quarter. I should just bring up the scoreboard. And put you out. Oh, that's a bit quick. Right, I have lost my school tool. I haven't seen it since I made a box on here before. Don't know where it went. But... Right, to do this box, I'm going to put it in at the. Oh, lost my bit of cart. There it is. At the eight inch way. Um, yeah. And we're going to score this at. Ooh, let me just work this out. One, two, three. Let's do the seven and a quarter. So the seven and a quarter way. I'm going to score at three quarters of an inch. One and three quarters of an inch. Five and a half inches. And six and a half inches. Turn it round to the eight inch way and score it at one inch, three and five eighths, four and five eighths, seven and a quarter. Now this piece here is quarter of an inch long, so that is going to be your tucking box. It'll be that way around. Your tucking box. So get rid of that and bring you in. A bit blurry. So now we're going to cut. Right, we want the tabs to go to the side. You don't want to be gluing them to the front. So to do that, we need to cut it this way. So you've got two score lines in front of you and two score lines at the top. So we just cut up the two score lines here. Cut the tab off. Make sure, yeah, yeah, this is the inch one, this one's the three quarters of an inch, you want to keep that to your right. And just miter that a bit, either side. Right. Same with this middle one, cut it all the way up to the score line. this first square off, don't need that, and then mitre it. Right, turn it around and do the same the other side. Out. 
that off the tab, don't need that, and then miter it out. Then we need to cut all this off. So I'll just use my big scissors for that, and we're just going to cut all the way down to that tub we cut off. That looks bigger than that. I bet I've done this wrong. But we'll see. Right, now we need to fold and burnish all our score lines. Ah, it's the same size. Thank God I thought I'd done it wrong then. Fold and burnish all the score lines. And then, with your corner rounder, I've just got this one because it's to hand. Now I'm rounding off the bits on the side. So I'm rounding off these and this one and then I will round off the top. You do have to fold it in so you can get it in your corner bunch. And then the top ones. Right, you could, if you want, stick your paper on. Now I have cut out uh, this, it's a glittery paper. I don't think you can see the glitter. But well, I've cut this out to put on this one. And you'll need two pieces at three and five eighths by two and a half for there and the lid. You'll need two pieces at seven eighths and three and five eighths. Am I getting that right? Yeah, three and five eighths. And you need two pieces at seven eighths by two and a half. And that will all go on there. And I will stick these on now. So. Oh, my bottle's clogged up. Let me. This is how I split it. Putting my um, pokey tool in there. That's how I keep splitting my um, glue bottle tops. The Cosmic Shimmer one. Right, that should hopefully have it unblocked.
I don't know what way is easier putting this on now or after the box is assembled. I think the gold box I actually did when it was assembled. But I do have to make six of these. Now let's put the box together. So all I'm doing is going to glue the four tabs. But I'm not going to glue them till I need them. Because I will get in a mess. And just line them up. One thing about Cosmic Shimmer, it doesn't take long to set. Ideal when you're making the boxes. Very quick and easy box to make. I have actually made a box similar shape to this, in fact it's exactly the same shape, just a bit bigger, oh. to hold a DVD. I'm not even in picture am I? Down tabs. Press these down with your bone folder. There you have it. One little box. Now you can decorate these boxes if you want. Oh, I'll tell you what we forgot to do. The little finger hole. Let me get the punch for that. I didn't bring it. This little half inch circle punch and I'm going to put it in as far as it will go. Hopefully it's in the middle and then just punch out a little half circle and there you have your finger hole. So that is my little box. You can use it for anything you want. You can even make it deeper if you want. You just add the inches to the side. Or you can make it thinner, which is what I've done here. Let me just take out what's inside. There's a gift in that and I didn't want it on camera. So this box is exactly the same as this one, but a lot bigger. 
and this one I just done it you need two sheets of card for this um, this I think is 10 can't remember now I've got one cut ready to make another one let's measure it so you need a piece of 10 and 5 eighths by 7 and 1 eighths no 7 inches and then for the lid you need a piece of at 7 and 7 eighths by 6 and 7 eighths and all you do you score your one inch all the way around and this and then the lid you attach here so you would score oh, that way this I think is three quarters of an inch so you would score your three quarters of an inch and then your half inch for your lid and that is how you'd stick it on like that I'm not going to make one of these I haven't found any paper to go on the top of this one yet that's why I'm not making it on camera but there's that one and I also made this one this is retired card I think this is baked brown sugar I think I think that's what it was called with retired celebration paper from January and this one also celebration paper so they're ideal for DVDs but we've been making this one so let's make now the little um, gift card holder for inside now I just sat and worked this out whether it will turn out or not I don't know so I've got a piece of card here at 8 and 1 8 by 2 and 1 8 and what I did I just got the gift card put it all bit sticking to it I folded it in that's all I did I folded it so now I will score it so all you have to do really is get your gift card and wrap a piece of card around it that's all you've got to do right, what I'm going to do here is round these corners So it'll go over like that. I have got some paper. That will sit on there. Let's glue it in. Around the corners on this so that it can sit in there. Right, 
Right, on the inside, what I planned on doing, I've got a piece of card, inch thick, and what I did, I just wrapped it round the card to get the creases. And I plan on sticking that just there, and then this will hopefully slide into it. So let's give that a go. Right, I want that about there. dry. I've also cut a piece of paper to go on top of that. Is that too big? No. I think I need to put a light on. Now to keep this closed, I have printed, uh, printed, stamped a Merry Christmas and using the layering ovals, I cut a cherry cobbler one in the scallop and a plain one and just stick that on there and that will hold that down. But what I'm going to do is put a dimensional on this put one there um, one there and that will keep that closed Maybe could get another one on there. Have I done the honour? And to close it, you just lift it up. Flip it under. And that, hopefully, keep your fingers crossed, will fit in there. And you could put some tissue paper inside there and wrap it up in tissue paper. Now you could decorate the box boxes and leave it like that but I'm actually going to wrap the boxes so I'm not decorating them because my grandkids will use them for something else afterwards so yeah I'm quite pleased the way that's worked out so there you have it two one inch deep by three and three quarter inch boxes by two and five eighths and all you got to do is measure them and you could have a box for a DVD as well I hope you like that if you do, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and press the bell button next to it. 
and you'll be notified of any more videos that I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and hope to see you again soon. Bye.